for everybody who's come here tonight. Like, if Chris and I were millionaires, we'd have you guys with us for the whole day, but unfortunately we're not, so it means a lot to us that you're here with us tonight. Um, I just thought I'd give my speech. Uh, for those who weren't at the reception at the lunch, Chris actually gave a speech there, so now it's my turn. <laughs> I thought there was no way in the world I would go out with this guy. <laughs> no way, Shut um, he's... Have a red shirt. I've got three months out you. Yeah, that's right. Um, Take a red shirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a bit younger than I am. He's from Northern Ireland. I didn't even know if he was staying in Melbourne. He kept telling me that the church was sponsoring for him to stay, but my experience has taught me that with men, I don't believe anything until that actually happens. <laughs> um, but the more I spent time with him, the more I realized how much I enjoyed his company. From the first night we hung out at a bar and talked till four in the morning, to the night that we would meet up and go for a run, and to our very first date, as you all well know, he almost took me to a topless restaurant. <laughs> I, realized, I realized that I loved hanging around Chris, regardless of what we did or where we were. And um, the more, well, one other thing that made me realize that I wanted to be with Chris was when I saw how much he loved God. Um, Chris turned down his chances of becoming Northern Ireland's next top model. <laughs> when he turned down the BBC's offer to host a regular TV show in order for him to work with the church and the, with the youth in the church. And the first time he said he loved me, he read from 1 Corinthians 13, and it was then that I fully understood the full depth and meaning of that passage. So, they say that you shouldn't marry the man you can't live with, but you should marry the man you can't live without. And so, can you please raise your glasses with me to talk to my new husband? Yeah. 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 Sorry, just had one. People, the list can be kind of long, so please bear with me. First of all, to my bridal party, my bestest friends in the world. <laughs> Chelsea, thank you so much for everything that you've done, for all your love and encouragement and everything that you are. I wouldn't be who I am if it weren't for you, so I love you a lot dearly. Christine, I can see you. Christine, Christine flew from Kenya and we've known each other for eight, nine years now and we've stayed in touch every day despite the distance. And Christine has shown me that it's possible to share life together through all the ups and downs despite the distance. And we quite literally share life's experiences together. Like to illustrate, in November 2009, I was involved in a really bad scooter accident which involved surgery to my right foot. Christine is a pilot and she was involved in a plane crash in November 2009 and she also had a severe injury to her right foot. So both of us went through surgery in November 2009. Both of us had stitching in our right foot and plaster around our right leg and crutches in November 2009. So, and that's just one of many examples that Chris and I, Christine and I actually experienced together. So, Christine, I love you a lot. I still think you're my African sister, so cheers. <laughs> Um, to Jody, Katrina, and Julia, I have never met a more fun, a more caring, and a more fabulous bunch of ladies in my life. You guys have shown me that it's easy to be girly and outdoorsy at the same time, to have fun if you're hiking or camping or hanging out at a bar or drinking coffee somewhere. I love you girls a lot. Thanks. To David Rogerson, thanks for being <laughs> Thanks for being my best friend and my source of sanity at work. I will always be a fan of your wit and cynicism and your dirty jokes. Love them a lot. Um, to my family at City on the Hill, to Nick and Shad, I love you guys a lot. You're my partners in crime. Um, words can express how much you guys mean to us. And Chris and I are really looking forward to spending more time with you guys and having more ciders with you guys. To Alex, aka Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Here's to all like the junk food, the movies, the laughter, and the craziness together. Brian is my junk food buddy. We all know that junk food is bad for us, but we always polish off three bags of crisps, a bag of raspberry bullets, a packet of Tim Tams, and three bowls of cider in one night together. Just the two of us. And it's mental. Um, to my family, my parents, and my 
and my cousins and my siblings. You guys have made me who I am today and thanks for coming all the way from the Philippines and from Canada. And it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for everything, Rob. And finally to Annette. Where are you? Thanks for being with us tonight and for celebrating us. So here's a toast to you guys. Thanks. Yeah.